guys, Brandon Slay from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the cross connect walking lunge. This is a great single leg exercise um, and also warm up exercise you can put in your training programs, but also keep your body moving, feeling well. And the nice thing is you don't need any weight. You honestly just need a little bit of space. So the main reason behind using the cross connect walking lunge, in my opinion, is either as a warm up exercise, as I mentioned, but also getting some rotation restored about the body. So we use this a lot with our personal training clients that just don't move very well. They can probably do some lunges, they can do some split squats, they can do some, do some lower body work, but just watching them walk, they're relatively stiff. There's no arm swing, there's no really good fit as a gate, they're just kind of just moving their legs in shorter steps and their arms don't move at all. Okay, I'm sure you see those people all the time when you're walking down the street. Um, and they look really awkward because their upper bodies are like planted and then their legs are just kind of moving, right? So what we like to get from this exercise is good quality mechanics with the arms moving, but by being in a cross connect position when we step, we're basically bringing our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee, just like we would during the phase of gait. However, what we're gonna do with that is that's gonna provide some upper back expansion, which is great if somebody's cranked like this and then they've got no rotation at all, which generally that's how they're gonna be. This is causing some really tight musculature on the backside, so we can get that to loosen up, get the hips and low back feeling better. But on the same time of that, the ribs are gonna move and then chances are some shoulder issues might start to go away over time. And by restoring that rotational piece about how they walk, we get people moving and feeling better really easy with just one simple exercise. So. I, again, this is why I like this as a warm-up exercise if you're a more advanced athlete. If you're using this for a regular gen pop personal training client that doesn't move well, this might be a just go-to exercise that you use in part of your training program towards the end with some conditioning, what have you. So it's just going to be like a regular walking lunge. You're going to take a step with one leg, step, knee's going to go all the way down. However, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our opposite arm slash elbow towards that knee as we lunge, and then just keep doing that back and forth. So what you're going to do is step palm towards you, step, palm towards you. So hopefully you can see that as I step, my body is rotating towards the upstance leg. And when it's rotating towards the upstance leg, this part right here is providing expansion on the backside. And I'm also still getting that single leg work as well. So this is a really good position for people that can't rotate well because they're not doing this very well. Their normal lunge would just have them fo still focusing straight, which there's nothing wrong with regular walking lunges. We're talking about how to use this exercise to improve your rotation and your movement capabilities. So, so you really don't have any kind of weight or load. This would really just be something that you're gonna program for as many good reps as the client can do if they're a regular personal training client, their strength and conditioning levels on the lower end. If this is a more advanced athlete, again, this is something I would personally put in a warm-up piece um, or towards the tail end of the warm-up before we go to the squat bar, the deadlift bar, what have you. And again, you could just do six, eight, 10 reps on each side, maybe two or three rounds, just enough, you know, paired with maybe some abdominal work or something to get the blood flow going and then go on to your exercise. But by getting that rib cage motion and getting everything to rotate fluidly together, I think you'll find that the low back, upper back, shoulders are gonna not only feel better when you go to train, but over the long run, you're gonna keep some aches and pains away for that particular athlete. And then for your new personal training clients, you're gonna help them restore range of motion while also torching their legs because it's probably gonna be a difficult exercise for them. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.